Hi folks, it's Ron with Ideal. In this video, I will specifically show you how to use a remote return path to greatly improve the system's ability to trace wires using the SureTrace circuit tracer from Ideal. The circuit tracer can be used in either open or closed circuits and is rated for up to 600 volts AC or DC and is a Category 3 rated tester so it can be safely used in electrical distribution panels and throughout a building. You can use it to identify breakers and fuses in electrical panels and to trace wires in a building. When you're using circuit tracers to trace live circuits, folks, please be safe out there and follow good industry safety practices. The system works by the transmitter superimposing a high frequency, low voltage tone onto the circuit to be traced. This causes a magnetic field to be induced around the wiring. The receiver detects this magnetic field and indicates its strength by displaying a numerical value on the display and by emitting an audible beeping sound that varies with the signal strength. Electromagnetic fields radiate counterclockwise in relation to the current flow, and when the send and return conductors are close together, as they are in a length of Romex, or a conduit for example, the magnetic fields cancel out. This greatly reduces the amount of signal available for the receiver to detect. The further away the receiver is from the cable, the more pronounced this cancellation effect becomes. We can all but eliminate this cancellation effect by providing a remote return path to physically separate the send and return conductors. This gives the receiver a much stronger and more distinct signal to work with. Step one is to first take the long 25 foot test lead supplied with the circuit tracer kit and plug one end into either terminal of the transmitter. Then plug one end of the short lead into the other terminal on the transmitter. Step two is to take the free end of the long lead and plug it into the neutral in a receptacle of a different circuit to the one being traced using one of the adapter blades, which are also included in the kit. Step three is to plug the free end of the short lead into the hot receptacle of the circuit being traced using the other adapter blade. Then turn on the transmitter and check for the lightning bolt symbol that shows there is voltage across the terminals. When finished tracing, unplug in the reverse order disconnecting the hot first, followed by the neutral. Take extra care when using the blade adapters to ensure you don't end up with a hot on an exposed blade. Remembering that the transmitter itself will allow some electrical energy to pass through it. This technique will significantly increase the magnetic signal being radiated by the circuit wiring and therefore increase your ability to trace it through a building. Call the ideal customer service line or visit our website to find out more about the circuit tracer and a local distributor you could buy one from. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal.